What's up, everybody? It's your boy P from Loud Pack. I hope everybody doing all right. I mean, um, I just wanted to chime in on this Ryan Garcia versus um, Javier Javier Fortuna fight last night. Um, I mean, it was a good win for Ryan Garcia. I ain't going front. It was a good win. You know what I mean? He seemed like he got himself together mentally. And, um, you know, he ready to go in there and mix it up with some of the big names, allegedly. Um, I was really impressed with the body work from Ryan Garcia. Um, definitely landed some good body shots to Fatuna, dropped him a couple times. But, um, you know, the tank fight is looming. You know what I mean? Um, they've been going back and forth on Twitter. And I guess they was waiting to see the results of this fight. Ryan Garcia definitely had a solid win over a solid guy. You know, Fortuna is a vet. He's been around for a while. Um definitely a solid opponent for Ryan, for Ryan Garcia at this point in his career so um but with you know with that being said you know it's a big difference between Fortuna and Tank Davis big big difference um and um in my honest opinion I'm still questioning Ryan Garcia his mental and his chin, to be honest, you know what I mean? He had a little, he pulled out the Fortuna fight before, you know, saying he was having a bout with depression. And I mean, I don't know. And um, we seen him drop before. He got back up and got the victory. So I know he got some heart and he can, he can box. But, you know, I just don't know if he got the grit and got that dog in him. Definitely to compete at the top level with these top guys. These top guys, they some hitters right now. But um, for some reason, they want to make this Tank and Ryan Garcia fight. To be honest, I've never really been interested in that fight. I mean, Ryan Garcia, in my opinion, don't really belong in the ring with Tank Davis. You know? I'm not just saying that because I'm a big Tank Davis fan, but in my opinion, he just don't. He don't, his resume, he hasn't really done anything. He's just, this is just a money fight. You know, they know Tank do numbers because Tank is a boxing star. And Ryan Garcia does numbers because he's like a social media pop star, box slash boxing star, whatever. So it's just about, it's just the business. You know, um, if somehow Ryan was able to pull off the win, it's great for him. You know, if Tank get the win, which I'm sure he will, it's just him doing what he was supposed to do because Ryan Garcia don't really belong in there with him. But, you know, that's the thing about this fight game. You know, people, people say, P, you need to put out more content. And I mean, I get it because you do. That's that's how you play this game or whatever. But for me, man, it's hard to just be putting out bullshit, lies, shit that's changing kind of from like day to day. I kind of be waiting for a story to kind of grab my attention and make me want to say something about it. You know what I mean? I know, you know, you got people putting out content every couple hours or whatever and you know they doing numbers but you know it is what it is man i gotta feel compelled so you know i'm looking for different things to talk about just besides the boxing because the boxing ain't really giving me a whole lot of content or whatever but you know i got a lot of different interests or whatever and then i would like to know what boxing fans think about different things maybe outside of boxing or whatever so i'm trying to figure it out but you know i get it you know people 
just giving constructive criticism or whatever but like my personal thing is it's hard for me to just bang out content because some of these stories ain't even worthy of talk it's going to change in the hour <laughs> you feel me so you know it is what it is but i did want to talk about this fight because it was an impressive win for you know ryan garcia and there's been a lot of talks of him and tank davis you know mixing it up next um tank davis kind of made hinted towards them fighting in december we'll see you know, this stuff is day by day with boxing, but, you know, I'm going to watch the fight, but it's definitely not a fight that I'm like, yo, tank fighting and not, not at all. You know what I'm saying? Not at all, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, But other than that, that's all I really got, y'all. I just want to chime in on, on, on that fight. You know, um, honestly, who I would like to see um, Ryan Garcia fight is Roley. I think that'd be a good fight. They both kind of tall, kind of big for the weight class. And the skill set ain't, you know, Ryan Garcia, in my opinion, is a better fighter. But, you know, some people say Roly is a good fighter. <laughs> so I would like to see that fight, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's a business. Nobody else want to see that fight. So we got to rock with what's, what's on the table. But y'all let me know what y'all think about Ryan Garcia. Do y'all think he ready for, you know what I'm saying, the heavy hitters at 135? Um, what did y'all think about his performance last night? And um, and realistically, honestly, do y'all really think he ready to step into the ring with Tank Davis? I mean, come on, man. It's... um. Think about that. But anyway, that's all I really got, man. Um, I'm definitely listening. I'm working on putting out more, more content. But like I say, the boxing game haven't haven't really been giving me content unless I want to just be flip flip flopping and shit. And I'm not no flip flopper, so I kind of like to. If I say something, I kind of like it to be that way. I ain't perfect. I be wrong, but I'm not just gonna be wrong all the fucking time. So. I'm working on putting out more content, so bear with me, y'all. And uh, also, working on stepping up, you know, the editing, man. Like, YouTube, that shit up. Blow your mind, like, the shit that people doing on there, man. They really taking it to, a next, to the next level with the editing, with the commentary, everything. Um, so, shout out to all the YouTubers out there, keeping me motivated. Um, and making me want to raise the ball on mine, because I want to put out a certain quality of content you know as well so you know but definitely working on that y'all y'all make sure y'all check me out on ig at loud pack boxing you can check me out at the jab effect on ig as well you can check me out on facebook at the jab effect and um you know that's it man um like i say hope everybody doing all right oh y'all make sure y'all go back and check out my interview with Hassan Rahman. You know, he got the fight coming up with Jake Paul. That's another good sit, good look for the city. You know, all my Baltimore people, all my friends and family back at home. You know, we got another guy connected to Baltimore this on, on a big stage. So um, shout out to Hassan. You know, if y'all haven't seen that, that interview, go back and check that out. Because, you know, now... I see he doing interviews every day. He buzzing right now, but you know, I got in there when people wasn't kicking down his door because, you know, I was fucking with him back then or whatever. But y'all make sure y'all go back and check that out if y'all haven't. But that's all I really got, man. It's your boy P. It's Loud Pack. You know what I'm saying? And we out.